know a lot of you like to drink old fashioned, so I'm gonna show you my version of a Mexican old fashioned with a little bit of spice to it. In fact, we're gonna use some ancho chili in this, so you need to buy ancho chilies. The softer, the better for this. And I'm just gonna use a pair of scissors, kitchen shears here to cut. I need a piece that's about an inch wide and a couple of inches long, but I really don't want any of these seeds in there. And we're gonna muddle that. You can muddle with a muddler or you can muddle with um, the back of a kitchen spoon. Um, that, that can work as well. You just need to have something. So this little piece like this, I'm gonna put down into, I'm actually gonna tear it in half because it'll fit in here better. But you need something about two inches long and about uh, an inch wide or so. And then you're going to, you're not gonna break it up muddling it this way. You're just going to release a lot of its, its flavor and aroma. So I'm just pounding it in my cocktail glass here. Okay, so I can smell it. That's what I'm looking for. I want to be able to smell that. Now we're going to measure into the um, into the carafe here um, a little bit of agave syrup. Now I'm going to put in here about a quarter of an ounce of agave syrup. You may like your old fashions sweeter than that. Um, so you might wanna put in a whole half ounce of it. Okay, not a whole ounce, but a half ounce. And then we're going to use some Añejo tequila. And I'm gonna do one ounce of this Añejo tequila. And this, what makes that's one of the things that makes this Mexican. But then we're going to do what it's called a split base here, and I'm going to add an ounce of bourbon to this. And in typical old-fashioned style, we are going to add some bitters. I'm using orange bitters for this one, so I'm going to put three shakes of orange bitters in here, and then. We'll fill this carafe here with ice, more than the, the level of our liquid that's in there. And we're gonna stir it. And we're gonna stir it for about 10 seconds here. And once you get going around the outside of it like that, you should be able to dilute it just right well, if you can keep all the ice in there, um, in about 10 seconds or so of the stirring. You want to make it really cold, and you also want to dilute it appropriately. Okay, so now I'm going to show you a little treat you can buy if you follow anything in the mixology world, then you know that clear ice cubes are a really big deal right now. They really dress up your drinks. So you can buy some devices to make clear ice cubes these days. And this is what the one that I have, and I actually just love this thing. You have to kind of wiggle it out here. There is this um, it's like a foam exterior here. And I'm gonna pull it out and show you that there are two parts to it. Um, where your ice cubes are at the top and then all of this ice at the bottom. And you notice how cloudy that ice is. Now this is kind of a little cumbersome to do so I did it ahead of time so that I could show you very easily. You pull it all out in one fell swoop and that all that part at the bottom, the cloudy part at the bottom, will be stuck on here and you just put a knife in between and just break it off. It comes off really quite easily. And then use the same kind of a knife around these, these uh, cubes here and we'll see if we can get these guys to come out pretty fast. I ran a knife around them just to loosen them a little bit uh, before we started here. And they're moving out somewhat, but not as fast as I thought that they might here. Um, but I just need to get it to fall. There it going. Okay. And then I'm gonna take our very clear ice cube and drop it into this glass over here. And of course, those big clear ice cubes not only look beautiful, but they also are really good at keeping the drink at the same dilution because they don't dissolve quickly. So we will pour our Mexican Old Fashioned here 
over our clear ice cube. I'm going to take the top off of this and with a pair of tongs go down in here and grab a piece of chili to lay over the ice cube there. Here's our second piece of chili. You can just do it like that. And you have a really beautiful drink, little touch of spice, combination of Añejo tequila and bourbon, little orange bitters. What's not to like? Cheers. Mm -hmm.